Here I have all three parts that I've colored all different. You can edit multiple parts at the same time by selecting them and pressing Enter. The only problem is, I can't see which note belongs to which part. To fix this, you can change the color scheme. Depending on how big your screen is, you may need to remove different viewing options so that you can see the color scheme selector. Change the color scheme to part. This lets us see the parts more easily. If something other than part is selected, you can still tell which part you are editing because it will have a black shadow behind the notes, while the other part notes are flat. You can switch between each of the parts by selecting them in the part list. As you draw in new MIDI notes, Cubase will automatically enter the MIDI notes into the selected part. You can turn on the Edit Active Part Only button so that the active part remains selected and the MIDI notes are entered into that part. We can draw in MIDI notes freely or have them locked to time. The Snap button turns the snapping to time on or off. Turn the snap on and make sure Grid is selected beside it. Now change the Quantize to Quarter Notes and the Length Quantize to Quarter. You are now drawing in quarter note divisions that have the length of quarter notes. Change the length of the Quantize to 16th notes and now you are drawing in quarter note divisions that have a length of 16th notes. Change them both back to 16th notes and grab the paint tool found here. You can draw in 16th notes across the screen. If you hold down Ctrl or Command, they won't jump into different notes. The nudge palette allows you to move or trim notes in exact increments according to the quantize settings. This is great for doing quick, precise editing. The length quantize has effect on the trim end right and left. Using the transpose palette, we can move notes up or down by semitones or octaves. This again allows for quick, precise editing that keeps things from getting sloppy. When Indicate Transpositions is activated, Cubase shows us the transposition. For example, if I make a transpose track and insert transpositions, and then go back to the key editor, we can see the notes that the transpose track is transposing. The notes don't change, but the transpose track will change them. And if you forget that you're using a transpose track, you might be pulling at your hair trying to figure out while the notes were playing the wrong or right notes.